اللهم فقهنا في الدين وعلمنا التأويل آمين يا رب Some of our brothers and sisters are having exams tomorrow and Monday. May Allah make it easy for them. May Allah make them, inshallah, steadfast and do good, inshallah ta'ala. And some of our children did very well, extremely well, with, uh, with uh, IGCSE. So congratulations to them. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them and their parents, inshallah. Good. Children, we stopped fifty one. Tafsir fifty one. Let's read the last page fifty two and Surah at Tur until fourteen. Last. Last page. Last page of the yet. Surah 51, last page. Are you all there, inshallah? Okay. Read with me, inshallah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim كذلك ما أتى الذين من قبلهم من قبلهم من رسول إلا قالوا إلا قالوا ساحر أو مجنون أتواصوا به بل هم قوم طاغون فتول عنهم نو نو فتولى نوت فتولى there is no ألف فتولى عنهم فما أنت بملوم وذكر فإن الذكرى تنفع المؤمنين Very good. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ ما أريد منهم من رزق وما أريد أن يطعمون إن إن الله هو الرزاق ذو القوة المتين إن الله هو الرزاق ذو القوة المتين فَإِنَّ لِلَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا ذَنُوبًا ذَنُوبًا مِثْلَ ذَنُوبِ أَصْحَابِهِمْ فَلَا يَسْتَعْجِلُونَ 
فويل للذين كفروا من يومهم الذي يوعدون بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والطور وكتاب مسطور في رق منشور والبيت المعمور والسقف المرفوع والبحر المسجور إن عذاب ربك لواقع ما له من دافع يوم تمور السماء مورا وتسير الجبال سيرا فويل يومئذ للمكذبين الذين هم في خوض يلعبون الذين هم في خوض يلعبون يوم يدعون إلى نار جهنم دعا يوم يدعون إلى نار جهنم دعا هذه النار التي كنتم بها تكذبون Excellent. Very good. Well done. Alhamdulillah, we started Surah Tur. So let's finish Surah Al-Dhariyat. I believe we stopped at verse 51. So last week, my brothers and sisters, especially children, we learned a new thing. What was it? That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, flee towards me. Don't flee away from me. Do you think we can run away from Allah? Okay, let's try. Let's try. Let's go to the moon and do whatever we want to whatever we want there, whatever we want to do, sin. Can we? Why? Why we cannot? We go there. We are no more on planet Earth. So no one will tell us why you do this. Why you cheat, why you lie, why you kill, why you take riba, why you worship stones. Let's go there. Why we cannot? Why we still cannot? No one is there to tell us not to do anything. Huh? Very good. That is Allah's planet too. Because everything is His. That's why we should not run away from Him, but towards Him. Okay, how long you keep running? Yalla, keep running. Keep running away from God. Huh? How long? He catches you, he catches you. Why? Because he has what? He has something no one escapes. What is it? No, children. 
children answer. Unless you, you think you are a child. Yes. Dunya. Why we better run towards Allah, not away from Him? Run towards Allah means we, we make tawbah. We say ma'af. We admit we, our mistakes and He will forgive us. Why? There is something, kids, you should never forget. No one escapes. Who's that brave boy or girl who can answer? Okay, Ismail? No. Not all of us are going to Jahannam. Inshallah, we never go. Little children, little ones. Girls, what's that thing? We should always be conscious of it. No one can escape. Death, very good. Mati. Well said, Amin. So since we are going to die, why we, why we do bad things with Allah? We know one day we will die. And death is what, children? What is death? What is definition of death? Mati, wh why the soul leaves the body? Why? There is divorce now. Divorce between the soul and the body. Death is the return to Allah. Bali Allah. So what is death? What is mati? Return to Allah. Ah, now the soul goes back to Allah. Then he will, he will see if you have done good things to the soul he gave you or you, or you corrupted it. If he finds it very dirty, he will tell you, I didn't give you this pure soul. I give you pure soul. Everybody loves babies. Why we love children? Why we love babies? Because they are sinless. That's why we love them. We want to play with them. Whether they are black or white or red or Chinese, Arab, Malay, children, all children are innocent. Right? Ah. But if Allah finds that your soul, you made mistakes, but you repented. And you have a lot of good deeds. Five daily prayers, done. You never miss them. Ramadan, you never missed. Alhamdulillah. Zakat, you gave. Hajj, you did one time. Quran, you read. Classes, you did. Sadaqa, you did. You cared about your family. Silatul Rahim, next of kin, respected the elders. Ta -ta -ta. Khalas, you're okay. You pass. So Allah said last week, we saw the ayah, look at it, verse 50. Everybody go to verse 50. Five zero. I see you when you are outside, you are focused. When you come to the class, the mind goes away. Yalla. Five zero. Read Anwar. You are Anwar. Munir. Very good. Look at me here. Look. In some ayahs of the Quran, Allah said, Sabiqu. Sabiqu. Uh, uh, race. Sabiqu. Yes. Race to good. To do good, race. There is one poor there in need. We all race to help him. Whoever reach him first will have more pahala. There is a masjid to be built. Yalla. Whoever is the first is the best. In another ayah, Allah says, وَسَارِعُ So for maghfira, we also not only compete, we race more than competing.
شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم اللهم رب هذه الدعوة التامة والصلاة القائمة أتي سيدنا محمدا الوسيلة والفضيلة والدرجة العالية الرفيعة وابعث مقاما محمودا الذي وعدته إنك لا تخلف الميعاد رضينا بالله ربا وبالإسلام دينا وبمحمد صلى الله عليه وسلم نبيا ورسولا Everybody, verse 50. So Allah said, so flee to Allah. Flee. We are ordered to flee. So there is one more command. Huh? Parents, pay attention. There is one more command in Islam that we are neglecting. Allah didn't just say, aqimu salat. Look at me here. He didn't say just pray or fast or go for jihad. He said flee. So flee. Flee to Allah. We need to do this because it's a command. So, O Muslims, flee to Allah. There are other verses in the Quran where Allah says, so here, Fafirru. Fafirru ilallah. Fafirru. Fafirru ilallah. In other verses, Allah says, Fastabiqu. Fastabiqu al khayrat. Al Khairat. O Muslims, compete. O Muslims, compete among yourselves. Who does more khair? Who does more good? So, compete, O Muslims, to do good. If someone can donate one ringgit, let the other one ten, give ten. If someone can build small surah, let the other one build a bigger masjid. If somebody can help one ana yatim, let the other one do ten. If someone can pray two rak'ahs, let the other one pray ten, four. Like this. So compete. Allah is saying compete. There is another ayah which is very interesting also. Allah said, Sari'u wa sari'u ila maghfiratin. Ah, pay attention. Sari'u means race. So, race. Race towards. So the line, you and I ran, run, try to beat. I try to beat you, you try to beat me. Where? The line is what? Maghfira, forgiveness. Look, when it was to do good, he said, compete. Each one of you according to his ability. When it came to forgiveness, he said, run. When it came to Allah, he said, flee like a bird. Don't delay. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who will accept your good, and it is Allah who will forgive you. That's why run, fly like a bird towards him. That requires fear. Fleeing to Allah requires fear. Like a bird that tries to drink water and then afraid. He has to flee because he sees danger. Which danger is there for us to flee to Allah? Which danger? Every day we are under danger. Every second. What danger is that, girls? Danger of? Falling and breaking a leg? What? What danger is that? Girls, Zoha, which danger is that? Sharifa, excellent. Shait speak, my daughter. You don't have to until I ask you. 
Shaitan. Shaitan is our danger. Every second he is trying to stab you. So Allah says, flee. Flee towards me. Only Allah can protect you from shaitan. Nobody else. Huh? Shaitan wants to turn you against your parents. Shaitan will tell you to push your mom, to push your dad, to say bad word, to think that your parents may like your brothers more than you or your sisters. No, no. It's all in your mind, in your shaitanic mind. Because you listen to shaitan a lot. But if you read Quran, if you go to classes like this, shaitan is very weak in front of you. Yeah? So please, shaitan will always tell you no one likes you. Nobody understands you. So what to do? Astaghfirullah. I flee to Allah. I pray to rakaz. I make wudu. Because shaitan doesn't like wudu. Shaitan is made of what? Fire. And what's the enemy of fire? So why do you think Allah told us to use wudu? Why we, we should keep our wudu? Because when you have wudu, shaitan cannot come near you. But when you lose wudu, shaitan is very close to you. Yeah? Good. So, that verse 50 is very important that all of us Muslims need to... Subhanallah. When it came to do good, he said race. Copy it, copy it. Whatever you can do. When it came to f forgiveness of Allah, he said race. And when you race, you want to beat everyone. Good. When it came to Allah, you want to be close to Allah, you flee to him. Don't keep dragging your feet. Tomorrow, I make tawbah. Tomorrow, I will stop uh, the riba. Tomorrow, I will go to the bank and try to refinance. Go now, because you may die very soon. Okay. وَلَا تَجْعَلُوا مَعَ اللَّهِ إِلَهًا آخر. Allah said, 51. And set not up or worship not any other ilah along with Allah. Which ilah here is dangerous? There is one ilah that you don't pay attention to. It's always around you. Of course, there is only one God. Who is he? But you have other ilah. Dunya. Most of us have another ilah beside Allah. Oh, shirk, oh, shirk. What is it? We mentioned last time desire, what you like, your own desires. Because you don't see the desire, so you think it's not there, but it's there. You desire to go to the gym in, during Salat time. What does that mean? That's another God you worship. You cannot let go, you, when badminton plays, salat bye-bye. I watch my national hero and still he loses. Good for you. Takbir. Then the Chinese will win. Non-Muslim. And then anyways, Chinese versus Chinese. One wears Malaysian flag, the other one, but both of them Chinese. You understand or not? Cricket is another God. People watching, forgetting Salat. Allahu Akbar, we forget Allah. Salat. Soccer. Ah, oh, tomorrow. You start uh, already uh, uh, this one. What? English Premier League. Already started. Huh. Ladies, drama, drama. Your favorite movie. Sal uh, Asar has come, but uh, your movie is... Uh, okay, I pray later. Then what? See? So Allah says, do not make with Allah another ilah. Because he knows. Entertainment, sport, money, stock market, business, friends. Friends can be another uh, ilah beside Allah. You always put friends f first. Then they betray you. And your parents never betray you, you put them second. Huh? Don't do that, children. So Allah said, do not worship another ilah beside Allah. Meaning you will worship God, you are Muslim. But you have that weakness of what? Of cannot let go a movie because 
uh, I don't know. I want to watch that movie no matter what. So, exalted above all that they associate as partners with him. Verily, say, O Muhammad, I am a plain warner to you from him. My job is just to warn you. Guys, don't make another idol near Allah. This idol doesn't have to be statue. It could be a desire, something you like. Okay, good. Continue with the girls. Last week, I think the boys did. So now back to the sisters. Start with my left. Yalla. You. Bismillah. Name again. Name. Khaira. Alia. Alia. 52. Very good. Oh, Muhammad, don't be surprised. Shh, shh, shh. Hey, hey, hey. Yalla. Oh, Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah is telling Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, don't be uh, shocked. Don't be shocked. Your people will tell you the same thing that other prophets were told. Your people, Quraysh, will tell you you are just a sorcerer or a madman. And this is exactly what the people of Nuh, alayhi salam, told Nuh alayhi salam. The people of Musa told Musa, you are sorcerer. You are a madman. Isa alayhi salam was accused of madness. He was accused of sorcery. Because when he showed them miracles, people said, you are sorcerer. So, O oh Muhammad, don't be surprised and don't be sad when your people call you sahir or majnun. One thing to know, brothers and sisters, especially parents, the moment you engage in da'wah, people start calling you names. Once you do the da'wah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the whole world may come against you. And that's a sign that you are on the straight path. If you do da'wah and nobody objects you, nobody calls your name, nobody wants to deport you, nobody wants to do this, there means something wrong. So you have to understand this. And as Muslims, I advise you this. When you see a Muslim alim or da'i to Allah targeted, the, the duty is to stand by him first. It's not time to correct him. Even when he has mistakes. Who doesn't have mistakes? It's to stand by your brother. When the danger is over, you can advise him. But not the other way. Somebody is hurt. He's already this, scared, da, 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 the whole world against him. And you're saying, no, he shouldn't say that. What is this? What's wrong with us? Be careful. Be careful to hurt your Muslim brothers without knowing. You didn't mean, but the end result is always. Our duty is to stand with one another no matter what. Later on, when the danger is over, we will show our brothers and sisters their shortcomings. And pray to Allah that, inshallah, they uh, benefit from our advice. Some of us, when they give advice, they want to put down people. That's not right. That's not the prophetic way. The prophetic way, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, was always advising people to, 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 to bring them up, not to put them down. Clear, inshallah? You know what I mean. Some of you understand very well what I'm talking about. So likewise, no messenger came to those, pe uh, to those before them, meaning your people, but they were said, you are a sorcerer or a madman. So, O oh Muhammad, وسلم, don't be surprised when your people call you madman. Children, what was Rasulullah called for 40 years? From the day he was born until he became 40, what was he known as? Children. What was he known as? Sharifa. Very good. As Sadiq al Amin. As Sadiq al Amin. He was Sadiq, he never lied. So this is the man who speaks truth. And Al Amin, trustworthy. If you live with him, Amana, you will find it as is. He doesn't even open it. 
You leave with him a box full of gold, he will never even open it. Not even open to see. Okay? Why he was called Majnun after 40? He was called Majnun for 40 years. He's known as what? 40 years, not one year or two. From the moment he was born, ta -ta 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 -ta, until he was 40 years, a big man with children. He was known as Sadiq al Amin, trustworthy. What do you think about Muhammad? The best man in Mecca. After uh, 40, what happened? What happened? Simply because he told them there is only one God. That's all. They didn't like that, to hear that. Look, he didn't steal their money. He did not lie to them. He did not cheat them. He just said something they don't like to hear. Sounds familiar? Some people in this masjid, and I know I'm not a child. I, I can read faces. When you don't like what I say, go verify if it is wrong with Quran and Sunnah. No problem. Continue, continue your anger. But when you find it right, what should you do? You know what you should do? Just don't come and say, Sheikh, I'm sorry. Just go and make dua for me. When you do sujood, say, Ya Rabbi, please forgive me and forgive Sheikh Zubair. I was wrong. Don't come to me and say, Sheikh, I thought bad about you. Sorry. No, no, I don't want to hear that. You understand or not? When our ulama are telling us good things, but I don't like to hear that, especially about riba. I will not stop reminding you of riba until you change. So that Yom Al-Qiyamah, you know, you say, he, ne he, he told us, but he never emphasized. Ah, now you say he never emphasized. Because that's, I think, the biggest problem of Muslims in Malaysia. Too easy life, riba, don't tell us anything, Sheikh, we are okay. You are not okay, sisters and brothers. The way the Chinese are talking, you are in danger. The way they are, now they are Dong Zong or Zong Dong or whatever that group. Or, you see, they're becoming gay. No, Sheikh, no need. Yeah, it is. Why you deny it? Until there is big problem? No.